Hello and welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay walkthrough breakdown. I'm Chastity Vicencio with Ubisoft News, and I'm joined by narrative director Naveed Pavari, creative director Julian Garrity, and game director Matthias Carlson, who are going to give us more information about what we saw in the gameplay walkthrough. Here we go. And this is our first ever introduction to Nyx. Nyx is a Murkal, a rare and exotic creature whose home planet still remains a mystery. He's got a very curious personality, as you can see here. He can be a bit stubborn, but he has an incredibly strong bond with Kay and always follows her lead. She's grown up with Nyx for most of her life. He's not just a pet, he's family. Good boy. And here we have Kay. First introduction to a brand new scoundrel in this galaxy. Kay is a young thief who's found herself on the moon of Tashara, which is a hive of underworld activity. She's picked up a high-risk job to steal a priceless sort of mollusk-like object from a lieutenant of the Pike Syndicate. Once she's grabbed it with the help of Nick, she's going to turn it in and earn some much needed credits. So Pikes are one of the syndicates uh, that we'll be tangling with in uh, Star Wars Outlaws. And the Pikes here are borrowing without permission some vehicles from the Empire and the Rebels and uh, different people and cutting them up. Next. Nyx is uh, more than just a lovable and fierce companion. Uh, Nyx is a whole bag of tricks in and of himself. You saw him push that button from a distance. He can uh, distract guards. He can attack on command. He can help you with puzzles. He can help you discover secrets as well. He is uh, very much conceived as a symbiotic part of the player's control over Kate and Nyx, so we're really thinking of them together as a whole. Okay, uh, I was just leaving. Feel your cheek <laughs> so when we meet Kay in the beginning of the game, she, she knows her way around the blaster. It's not necessarily her first option or primary tool to solve a, solve a problem or a situation. However, as we progress through the game and it's many ever more dangerous situations, both Kay and the blaster itself will evolve and improve. And you will soon find it to be a central and very versatile tool for more than just directly taking out the enemy. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. And Kay's blaster is very meaningful to her. Uh, this blaster has a lot of uh, modules that you can uh, discover, upgrade, uh, and apply to the blaster that allow you to deal with situations in radically different ways. So here I think we have a very good example of the type of uh, role Nyx can play even in something like a full-on firefight where that enemy that we took out dropped the gun that he was just about to shoot you with. Nyx can you know, slink down and retrieve that weapon for you. Let's try this out. Dick Sometimes best solution is just to get out of there. So ever since we kicked off this project uh, in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games, uh, one of the things that they were passionate about, of course, is authenticity. One of the things we were passionate about is bringing something to the galaxy of Star Wars. And one of the biggest things was this uh, moon, Toshara. And Toshara, we developed, uh, working very closely with Lucasfilm, everything from its vegetation to the wildlife to its deep rich culture and all of the activities that we can discover during this trailer and even more one of the, the key pillars uh, for both k the character and for the the core gameplay in general in star wars outlaws is what we call a resourceful underdog k is a capable and daring person and we reflect that in gameplay with you having access to a wide range of actions and abilities, ever growing, of course, as you play through the game, ranging from stealth to full on firefights, as we still saw here, uh, you know, shooting from, you know, driving your speeder full speed ahead under fire from enemies. 
we said if we can make the player think like, oh, I can't believe I made it, when when they just play through something, it's a success. Kay's reputation with the syndicates will play a big role in how she approaches her journey, whether it's the pikes, huts, or others. We had a saying that in the underworld, you live and die by your reputation. As if a job she takes hurts a syndicate, those opportunities aren't available. So her choices play into how she experiences her journey. There's Jonta's Hope. This is Jonta's Hope. Jonta's Hope is uh, one of the settlements that we have in the game. So this is a tiny outcrop, an oasis of civilization in these windswept plains. And it usually contains a uh, drinking hole, a uh, cantina. And these are hubs of activity too. So we very much enjoyed developing how it would look and feel and what sort of vibe that cantina would have. But this is just one of many settlements and cities that Kay will discover across the galaxy. And that includes the capital of Miragana, a city on Tashara filled with corruption and underworld activity. No. Okay. Andy 5 is a BX commando built by the Separatists and battle-hardened during the Clone Wars. Nowadays, though, he serves as kind of an enforcer droid in the underworld. He's partnered with Kay as they attempt to pull off a big, high-risk job. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. So various jobs and favors for the, the different characters and, and factions you encounter. They play a important role in everything from learning new things, actually unlocking equipment and abilities, to managing your precious reputation in the underworld, which is the key to some of the most lucrative opportunities out there. Important note though, something that's key to the fantasy of the free scoundrel lifestyle is that you're never in servitude of anyone. You're making your own choices, carving your own path through this world, making a name for yourself. Job was more complicated than you said, Danka. You lived. <laughs> Who she works for, whether it's with syndicates or otherwise, is crucial to creating a reputation for herself. And then how she approaches those syndicates through those choices is going to be key to gaining bigger and better rewards, whether it's for credits or priceless artifacts. Wait. So nothing in the underworld is black and white, oh, and we me. wanted to reflect that in the choices she makes when taking on jobs. This is one example of many. Does she just hand over what was stolen, keep a cut for herself, lie about how the job went down or the intel she learned? It's really left up to her. In these scenes where we're going to give a choice to the player, and these choices, they, there is no wrong answer. There's just ways to weave your own story, ways to change, challenge, increase your reputation with certain uh, factions and syndicates, decrease it, gain an advantage or a different perspective on the story too. So we put a lot of effort in giving the player agency over their own trajectory. Thanks. So the game takes place in the original trilogy era. So the empire is at the height of its power and reach. So they're always looming there somewhere in the background, ever watchful. But as you can see here, we want to show a different side to the Empire and how it intersects with the underworld. And that means corruption, particularly on Tishara. Even though it's Imperial run, the local governors and officers lean into corruption and have worked out special arrangements with the syndicates that benefit them. So this is the wanted system. And the wanted system uh, is something that's going to be ever present within the game. If you are caught or challenge the Empire, you're going to start to get wanted. And if you continue, you persist and you do even more actions, that wanted level is just going to go up. At the highest levels, the Empire will throw a huge amount of resistance and forces in your way. So that's something that you can play around with, but you're best off uh, trying to avoid as much as possible. Very important for us in this experience is that there will always be some way for you to de-escalate or escape. Oh, this is uh, the trailblazer. Now, if there's one dream that a lot of uh, game developers have, it's to help design a, a spaceship for Star Wars. And this is our take on that, the trailblazer. The Trailblazer is an EML 850 light freighter from the Republic era. But to Kay, 
this is home. And if you're a scoundrel traveling throughout the galaxy, the first thing you need is a ship. And for Kay, there's none better than the Trailblazer. So now we're in space. And, you know, one of the things that was very precious to us is having this seamless experience of going on foot to your speeder, to uh, your spaceship, out of the atmosphere and into space. And space is a dangerous place, but it's a place full of opportunities too. So we'll be using it for combat, both on a, an intimate dogfighting level, an epic level with bigger ships, but also for discovery, exploration, uh, and special surprises. Let's jump. Uh, it's important to hit those classic iconic notes of Star Wars to remind players of the era that they're playing in. And the fact that the galaxy is something that is wide, diverse, but iconic at the same time. One of the things that it, uh, is important for us is that every planet that you will visit in this adventure has a distinct profile, not just a uh, very bespoke story, uh, but also wildlife, an ecosystem, and situations that really radically change from location to location. And space is just uh, another part of that. So we're trying to develop uh, distinct profiles for every single orbital region. We knew from the start when we sat down thinking about this game that we wanted to offer that full seamless experience. You know, sitting in the cantina, in a city on a planet surface, jumping on your own speeder, driving to your own ship, and as we just saw, seamlessly flying into space is something that we are incredibly pleased and happy and excited that we're able to, to actually offer. We really enjoyed making this and we can't wait for you to experience a new Star Wars adventure. Just leaving. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Shield.
You're late, Kay. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. No, but you draw. What? Be careful. Donka's a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. Still like my odds. Cave S. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join us. Job was more complicated than you said, Dunka. You lived. <laughs> hey! He's on toys. They're investments. <laughs> Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> but I won't have to. You're smart. Thanks, but I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid, let's just relax. You won't make it off to Shah alive. Maybe. Time we've outrun the Empire. We need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. Sensors yet. 
Anybody on the sensors now? TIE Fighters on us! Got one! I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire, quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. your new toy so where do we go next anywhere we want my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. You're gonna have to trust me. It'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. The underworld shows no mercy. It's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna risk it all. Season dawn, huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. K. Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Fuck. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. 
rob his fortune, and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all.